Okay. 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 What would interest a television crew to travel halfway around the world? Compel a college professor and his assistants to search the depths of a mountain stream. Not quite what we're after. It's a bad puppy. Or become the center of attention for an international expert on species preservation. One of Tennessee's most unique residents, an animal that hasn't changed since the age of dinosaurs. When you get the blues, babe, we got to have little talk. I ought to back up. It's like they're dancing. Yeah. The frogs are beautiful. Yes, yeah, very, very, beautiful, very beautiful. beautiful. But are you ready to see the largest North American giant salamander, the hellbender? And this is it right here. Yeah. Pull the oh, animal out so you can get a better it? view of it. Yeah, they're really big. Um, in the geological record, if you go back in time, yeah. they were around since the age of the dinosaurs. The fossils really? look just like the fossils yeah. from these guys. Yeah. But pretty soon it'll probably be listed on the endangered species yeah. list because yeah. the hellbender has been declining for the last 20 years really rapidly across its range. The problem appears to be with the lack of recruitment, which means that babies aren't being grown or aren't growing up. We're still finding a few older animals, yeah. but as time goes by, we're losing those animals. It could be pollution, disease, siltation. Another possibility is it's just a, a new chemical that's been put in the environment in the last 20 to 25 years that's widely used. We're interested in developing laboratory-style methods to breed them, and we think we can manage the genetics of the captive population better yeah. that way. Hopefully this year, yeah, we'll have yeah. lots of babies yeah. with lots of females and lots so. of males. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. This is our only female. Yeah. So now, Sherry, we can start the ultrasound. If you look at the areas that are more black, um, yeah. look like round circles, those are the actual follicles. Yeah. Those follicles look good, but they haven't started um, the final ovulation stage yet. We are really participating in worldwide conservation. That's the most important thing. So it, you know, it makes people know around the world that we're serious and we're involved and we're not just here for entertainment. We're here to research and learn. To help preserve their DNA and their genetics, then you know, if we can figure out whatever the underlying cause is, um, you know, then we'll have that DNA before we lose it so we can actually help breed them back. Okay, so all these animals have a individual personality yeah. and this is the one that likes to bite people okay. and now we're just going to do a gentle massage um, along the testes that's the middle you got it on the yeah yes. oh, yeah. Ready. yeah whoa <laughs> very slowly yeah that's a couple of mls one to two mls dale's good at I this Robert has been collaborating with us for the last two years to develop protocols to cryopreserve the hellbender mill. It's got a long flagellar membrane that, that undulates. Ah. And once we've got it cryopreserved, we can um, recover it for up to 50, 100,000 years. No one's sure because no one's lived that long to tell, but certainly for a very long period. And then we can fertilize the eggs and we can get that particular strain and put it back. That species genetic diversity should be preserved for thousands of years. And we're done and ready to go into the field and yeah. collect some more samples. It's like we have one. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a really small one. Now we're gonna go do ultrasound on this animal. Oh, it's a beautiful little one. We have a a traveling lab with cryopreservation equipment, liquid nitrogen, disease sampling uh, equipment, ultrasound. So we're able to do a really good health assessment on the animals. Now we'll get a uh, Kittred sample. 
This is what you don't see in about 90% of the rivers is young animals. Yeah. All you see is big adult animals. Yeah. And that's why this river is so great because we still have babies coming up. Yeah, so yeah. this will just be interesting to see if we can tell if it's a male at this size yeah. or a female. You did see yeah. some testes? Yep. Yeah, that may actually looks a decent size for him. Yeah, but, but you're not seeing all those big seminiferous tubules at the end. They're there. We may even try to strip this animal. Okay. That would be really interesting, mm -hmm. an animal this small. It looks like you got a big one on. I'll trade you big ones for small ones. <laughs> to know that there's something so unique, so spectacular uh, in our rivers here that we, we, most people indeed don't even have a clue, uh, that, to me, makes it an exciting. The males will get under the rocks and excavate the nest and then entice the female in there, and then uh, she'll lay the eggs and then heat the males, actually the one that guards the eggs until they, until they leave the nest. Michael Creek's been doing surveys throughout the Cherokee National Forest, and, and we're finding that, that uh, they're not abundant in a lot of places, not, not even present in a lot of places. We had done some surveys on the Cumberland Plateau on the Obed Emery system. Spent a good bit of time searching, didn't turn up a single hillbender. There's clearly something wrong with the water quality or the habitat. So when we solve all that and we reintroduce it, it's just a fantastic icon species for uh, the achievement of technology and progressive thinking over destruction of the environment. In this river, we can find all age class animals. Yeah. So this is, it's really important to study yeah. a great healthy population yeah. like this uh, and try to determine what factors are different here than, 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 than in the, all our other streams uh, yeah. or most all of yeah. our other streams yeah. where the hellbenders are going away so fast. If we have animals that are unable to live in our water, it should be telling us things about how we're taking care of that water. And that's important to everybody. So it's really important to have nice, clean rivers, and that's really important for people, too, yeah. because we collect our drinking water from rivers. Uh, so what's good for hellbenders is good for people, and what's good, good for people, people is, is good, good for, for hellbenders. hellbenders. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Protect hellbenders. Yeah. Yeah, voilà. Ik ga je daarmee op de barricade staan. Protect the hellbenders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.